guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new, I'm Leona. I have a service dog named Aries who's in the process of being retired and a service dog in training named Athena. Um, today I'm going to be doing another unboxing video. This is going to be a harness from Savvy Shepherd Co. I believe. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'll let you guys know if it actually isn't. Um, it looks like it is. So, this is Athena's first piece of custom gear, um, for now, like, for now, everything that we've ordered has been, that has come in has been, um, pre-made, or it's been hand-me-downs from Aries, um, kind of thing, or it's been second-hand from somebody else, um, but this is going to be her first official custom piece of gear, and I'm really excited, so I'm just going to get into this. Uh, I will say I would like to preface with I want, um, I am going to have to use scissors. So just a little trigger warning next like 20, 30 seconds. If you're triggered by scissors, go ahead and click out or like skip forward. Um, okay. So this is one that I actually like this kind of pattern was something I was envisioning for if I had another female prospect, because I had wanted it for Belle, but she retired before I ordered her a bunch of custom gear. So, yeah. Um, so it's just a wide front harness, it's fleece. So it comes wrapped in tissue paper with this cute little paw print. Um, so I do want to say I saw pictures, but that's it. Like, I haven't seen much. Oh my gosh. Okay. So first we have this little note. So it just says, hope you love your gear, make sure to tie, and then some business cards. Um, I am going to link them down below, but it is Instagram, it's Savvy Shepherd Co. Um, they've been opening very limited customs recently, so we were very lucky to get one. But yeah, that's just their stuff. Okay, so we got a wide front harness and a pull strap. So I got the pull strap because once she's, I wanted her to get used to it resting on her back. So there's the pool strap. It's just got the pastel waves, fleece, and pink. Oh my gosh. It's like really good quality and sturdy. Um, so Athena's actually tall enough that I can reach down and hold a three inch handle, but this is just, I don't remember how long I ordered. I'll have to check. Um, that actually looks like it might be a little shorter than what I ordered, but it's okay. Um, and then this is the harness. Um, this is one of it's set so it's a little too big, but we got this beautiful, like, is a pastel waves fleece, so it looks like this, and then we got pink webbing and this really pretty, like, pink embroidery, which I think is really cool because you can see it, but you also can't, like, it's not super in your face, which I really like a lot, it almost, like, blends in, um, so we just got service dog on both sides because this is one that should grow with her pretty well um the girth looks like it'll fit her like at the smallest size if not be a little bit big i might have to like try and tighten it down over the fleece um yeah i might be able to like tighten it down over the fleece just in case because that actually looks like it might be a little bit big but that's okay um the shoulders are definitely set too big right now um it's got quality hardware like I mean, the buckle is pretty easy to work with. I do have some trouble pushing it in, um, but it's probably just because I'm tired and have no muscles. <laughs> um, all the stitching is even. I think the one thing I'm worried about is if I put it on her, if this is going to be, um, like, if it's going to do that little fold-up thing, but actually it doesn't look like it will because it's folded on, like, it's sewn on at an angle, which is really great. That's always my biggest problem with fleece harnesses is that they won't, um, like they won't go down all the way flat so yeah okay I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this to her size and then try it on her and let you guys see all that
the last clip was just showing how it fits on her and what was like all that kind of stuff. I'm really impressed with how it looks um, and feels like it feels like really, really good quality. Honestly, I'd compare this to the quality of my service Pupsy Carnis, which is like my ride or die fleece harness. It will never go anywhere until like it legit cannot be worn anymore. Um, Aries wears that almost daily uh, when he works and if he's not wearing that then he's wearing his leather Bridgeport but that's basically all he wears um, with the occasion like switch up but yeah so I'm genuinely like I would compare it to that quality which says a lot so if anybody is looking for a service Pupsy harness but hasn't been able to get one um, I definitely recommend them as a second step um, for getting your custom desires especially since Mary hasn't been making harnesses um, so yeah it's an amazing quality fleece harness if anybody wants me to do like an official review after I've used it for a minimum of a week probably more than that go ahead and comment down below and I will happily um, I'm in love with it but I definitely can't wait to see how the just the wear is um, I might use it on Aries like once um, and see how feedback for Ford Momentum is, as well as if it's sturdy for that. Um, if anybody would be interested in that. Uh, because obviously my six-month-old puppy is not going to be doing any sort of Ford Momentum. It's just, uh, the pull strap's just there for A, my ground, like, grounding purposes for me. And B, for her to get used to the feeling of it on her back. Because once she is cleared, she will do it. Well, if she's cleared. Because she's already big enough. So, Yeah. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and goodbye.